Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. So, because we're quarantine bored, I'm trying different recipes, and I made the, I've made this recipe before, I just haven't made it in a while. I know my family back home is kind of probably mad at me right now, but they used to make it all the time and they would get very excited about it. Um, so today I'm making, I'm making the, I don't know how to say it, is this Supa? Zopa? Zopa? Zopa Toscano soup from Olive Garden. It's my favorite soup. Every time I go, I get like three bowls. And then also when you, before you leave, you can ask for bowls to go. I used to always do that. So this time not really be a how-to video. This is just me kind of showing you that I'm making it because I'm not too confident to show you how to make it. I'm just following the recipe. So enjoy the video. Bye. I still have oil in this pot from the fried chicken episode. <laughs> so I haven't thrown that yet. So I'm using my other big pot and I'm just uh, kind of just browning the Italian sausage. This Italian sausage I got it from Walmart. It was just like $1.88 for a pound, which is not bad. Um, so I'm browning that. I'm cutting up some bacon and then I'm gonna cut up the onion. Um, oh, I'm browning the sausage with crushed red, pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. So we'll try it. Actually, I've made this soup before, but I don't think I've used this recipe. So it's a new recipe, but not a new food item. So we'll see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. This is how Mateo is spending his quarantine in Lucy's walker. Look at his feet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the sausage is done. I took it out. Uh, the bacon is in there now. You just use the same pot, which is nice. I don't want to do more dishes. So that's in there. I'm going to let that cook. And then I'm gonna just chop my onions. That's next. So the, the bacon is almost done. And I just remembered before I do the onion thing, I've been wanting to do like the, where they do it on TikTok or YouTube videos where they like hit the onion and it like dices by itself, which is like a video edit. All right, this is me trying it now. Go. All right, did it work? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll see you in the end. If it worked, please leave a comment and say that it was a very good transition. Thank you, babe. All, all right, so the bacon is done. I like how I said I was I was happy that this was a one pot recipe so I don't have to do dishes and I'm wasting so many dishes. Um, but bacon is done, sausage is done. I got six potatoes over here, they're all washed. And then the onions are in there sauteing. So I'm just letting that get all nice and soft and then I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the potatoes. If you don't have one of these, it's very smart to get one. It cuts onions, fruits, veggies, anything super fast. Mandolin, it's called the mandolin. mandolin. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna use this to do all the potatoes now and that will take like maybe five minutes. Not long at all, it's a lot better than using a knife. And it's, all, it's more consistent too. Okay, so the potatoes are done. I'm just gonna add garlic to the onions and then throw everything together. Okay, update. So the potatoes are in, everything is in. I mean, everything is added, sorry. So the potatoes are in the, with the broth and the onions and the garlic, and it's boiling, but I honestly don't feel like it's enough liquid for all the soupies. That's the liquid right there, and I still need the sausage and bacon and kale. And I only asked for 32 ounces of chicken stock, so I'm very confused. So, I'm making some more chicken stock here on the side. I'm gonna add a little bit more just in case. Might be fine, but we'll see. Lucy's here. She ate a Chips Ahoy cookie. Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Say hi, mom. Um, so, like I said earlier, I'm making a little bit of chicken stock here. Um, I just use the odd stuff. Just make a little bit. I think I'm gonna just add it in. It's two cups. I'm gonna just add it in because it doesn't look like it's enough broth. Okay, the potatoes are all boiled and soft. We're gonna just add in the sausage, the bacon, and the kale, my favorite part because it's so good, and heavy cream, one cup. And we'll just mix it together. It looks so good. Um, so I'm just letting it cook for like 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna do a taste test, add salt, pepper, and whatever I need, and that's it. The soup is done. I ended up adding like a little bit of salt and pepper, and some more red pepper flakes, so it could be a little spicier. Here it is. It is so good. I'm so excited. And I'm not gonna taste it for you guys because that's weird. Lucy, <laughs> we're watching Onward, guys. It came out today. Um, 
So any, what's the, how do you say it? Any affirmation that I need is, is it affirmation? I don't know. Any affirmation that I need on my cooking is by my wife. So taste, taste it. <laughs> Hold on, babe. Mateo's trying it too. Right, baby? <laughs> He's eating it. <laughs> is that a yes or no? It's a little spicy, babe. Dad, I'm like, anyways, go, mom, go. So fake. <laughs> On a scale from one to Olive Garden, what is it? You are, you're better than Olive Garden. Olive Garden is like the fine dining of the valley. So I'm very happy that I make a recipe from Olive Garden. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching another random cooking video because we don't know what else to vlog about <laughs> uh enjoy we're gonna enjoy moving onward if you happen to make the recipe let us know bye